like 10 or 15 miles back is where it's well, at. You know and why then, you have to stay a, a little bit a ways back, don't you? Well, well, let's just get somebody right there by the landing pad filming. Oh, this yeah, thing why don't you stand right there at the X and have it land on you? That's a smart well, thing. Well, I mean, do. within, a, you know, 500 yards, you ought to be able to, you know, they have it come back and land right there 500 yards from them. Yeah, okay, fine. You do that. I'll, I'll, yeah, they still haven't perfected right. this technology. You know, every once in a while, one blows up, you know. Okay, well, let's just see one of them with like, you know how, like, in a football game, they have that good camera where they go right down on the on the field and, and see every inch. Uh, can you just get one of those cameras and t- take it out there to NASA and point it up at that rocket as it's landing? Can you do that? Suppose I have they done that already? I thought I saw well, what that. What can you do, yeah, Paige? They done shit I can, like I can that. point out. I can point out to you that you're full of shit. No, you're no. full of no, that. I'm... You're full of that no, stuff sir. because you can't uh, improve. Uh, your no, no, level. come come on. Like, he's either half full of it or he's you know. No, he's full of it, yeah. No, chemo. See, Be chemo, polite. If you could get, see, what you have to do is you have to get your ass on an airplane, fly to Orlando, and then like drive over to uh, Cape Cape Canaveral and watch one of these things take off and land, and you can see it for yourself. Well, have you done that, then? I have. Well, let's have a look. In, in, all fairness, in all fairness, it's difficult for chemo to drive from Birmingham to Cape Canaveral. Very difficult. Considering he doesn't have a driving license. That too. <laughs> so come on, Paige Shield. Where's uh, your globe proof? Are you an idiot? You're supposed to be on a spinning ball. He, he, hmm? uh, he made a claim just then, Chemo, that he went to Cape Canaveral and watched this rocket land backwards. Let's see a picture of it. Oh, you've gone shy, Paige Shield. Hmm? No, yeah, he, no, he, 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 he does have he does have videos on his channel, bro. He had, no. Let's see a P nine thousand of that thing coming up. We don't want to see one from fifteen miles away. Okay. When do they come out, Dave? The P nine thousand. He ain't got no pictures. Well, after the the P nine hundred, they did the P uh, one thousand, and now they've reverted to doing the P nine fifty. Yeah. Right, uh, Paige Shield, what's the evidence for the radius of our Earth? I'm all quiet now. What's the evidence got- for the rotation of the Earth? Is that not parallax, Chemo? What? Rotation? Yeah, parallax. You can, you can only have parallax with rotation, can't you? Well, how does that prove that? Um, I'm not sure if you know what parallax is. Yeah, like when yeah, you put only... your finger out at the, at the star. <laughs> yeah. well, the sun's the only thing that would prove that, and, it does, and the sun's the one that's moving, so how can you prove it sitting still? That's another one. It's just like the sun. Everybody gets up, sees the sun come up and go, go down or come from up and or towards you and back and past you and they, and they still tell you that that it's not moving you're the one moving Peyton Sheila are you not talking no oh, I'm sorry I had other stuff to do what, what's up okay so we want evidence for the globe um okay so um, who's measured the here earth you here you go um I did oh, a few weeks ago okay what's the radius then uh, you know the radius why do you ask me questions you already know the answer to because we tested that radius and it doesn't comport to reality. Actually, it does. No, it does comport exactly to reality. I measured it. I was within ten uh, percent. Yeah, but have you tested a uh, one full observer to see where the geometric horizon is? Um, yeah, we can know where the geometric horizon is. We can calculate that. Why are you mu- Why are you mumbling? Speak up. I'm not mumbling. We Very can quiet. calculate that. Oh, I am. Hold on a second. My microphone sometimes messes up. David, can you hear him? Okay. One second. Fixed it. Is that better now? Oh, wow, that's <laughs> is, that better. is that better now? That's much yeah, my my system sometimes does something weird. I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Anyway, so what's your problem today? So we're looking for the radius, but obviously... Yeah, 3959 miles. We know that. It's been measured lots of times. Goodbye. Hmm. 
Hmm? Who by? Um, well, lots of people. Kids do it. Kids do it every day. Do you have any examples? Sure. Plenty. Thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Do it yourself. Yeah, but how can we verify what you're saying? Well, you can do it yourself, you idiot. Get out there with a stick and but a shadow say, and measure it. What if I say I've done it and it showed it was a flat earth? Well, then you'd be wrong because it's not. So then show me then how you did it and it was a ball. Sure, it's all over. Google. You know Google Eratosthenes. Not lots of people doing it. Go on, then. Give us one link. Let's have a look. Um, sure. Google it yourself. You know how to Google. Eratosthenes. He'll um, even correct your oh, spelling. Alright, fine. You just believe that at the moment. It's on no, Google, no, it's not. Right? But if I did it myself. Well, give us a look then. Let's see. We've got to check that he weren't sleepwalking. Uh-huh. I well, guess I came within 10% of the, of the correct uh, distance. You can do it yourself. See, this is called do your own research. So do your own research for a change. Get off your ass and actually do some real science. Now, like, granted, you're in England, so you'll have to probably pick the day since, it doesn't sun, since the sun doesn't shine there very much. But, you know, pick your day that it, on solar noon, measure the shadow, measure the length of the stick, do some simple calculations. Well, let's say I did those calculations as it came out to a flat Earth. Um... It, like I said, you know how to do it. I'm not. Came I'm out. not going to put your sea. And I'm not going. I'm not. Uh, I'm not here to answer your sea lining questions today. What came out to a flat Earth? What was what? What came out to a flat Earth? Um, uh, the Eratosthenes experiment, which doesn't come. When you take two plumb a, lines, uh, two plumb bobs. Sorry. Um, oh, don't talk about plumb bobs. No, no. That, those words have to be prohibited. Why? Why? You're going to wake up a certain person from Dallas. No, but these plumb bobs prove the Earth being flat or curved. Uh, no, actually, they prove the Earth being round because the plumb bob goes down, and those downs are not parallel. Yeah, they are. That's how we've shown it. No, they're not that. parallel. No, they're not parallel. Yeah, we've got a pool. How long is that pool, David? How far apart was he doing David the plumb bob? David, how long is that pool? About 200 meters or something. 200 meters? You think you're going to measure the difference of the Earth's radius in 200 meters? Maybe with some very precise equipment, but no. No, but that, that is parallel, yeah? So that 200 meters is uh, parallel. 200 meters? They'll be very close to parallel, yes. Within nanometers, I believe. Yes, yeah, absolutely parallel. So, no, not absolutely parallel. No, not absolutely parallel. Too close for you to measure. Okay, so, I mean, we can go over the um, Suez Canal. Absolutely parallel. Uh, incorrect, but go ahead. So that proves it's a flat Earth because there's no. Uh, no, it deviation. doesn't. Wait, are you saying? Are you saying that the fact that sea level is sea level is sea level proves the uh, flat Earth? Yeah, because there's no gravity. To no, wrong, moron. Yeah, sea level is sea level because you need gravity to make it curve around the ball. That's correct, and there is gravity. No, gravity has been debunked. The gravity has been debunked. Oh yeah, by whom? You? By Einstein. <laughs> No, incorrect. Einstein, uh, no, incorrect. Totally, totally incorrect. You could not be more incorrect. Einstein didn't do that. Einstein debunked mass attractive mass. Uh, no, incorrect again. You are an idiot. No. And you're, you're just spouting QE bullshit. Did you go to school? I uh, yes. Did you? Uh, did you? Did you go to school? What did you study in school, might I ask? Did you finish school? Did you finish college? What did, did you, what did you study in school, might I ask? But did you finish school, sir? What did you study? It's not about me. Yes, it is about you. It's not about me. It's all about you, because it's, it's your questions. It's about the gravity you're you're that the has been debunked one. by Einstein. Like, you don't even know that. Uh, hasn't? No. So did you study physics, sir? You don't even know that Einstein debunked Newton. Did you study? No, you don't know it. Did you study physics, sir? So which gravity are you talking about? Did you study physics? Which gravity are you talking about? Did you? I asked you a question, Keith. It's not Keith. about you me. It's about science. Now, Keith, which Keith, gravity Keith, are you talking Keith, about? Keith, did you study physics? Come on. Don't, don't ignore the question. I asked you a question. It's not did you about study physics? me. What? It is about you. Did you study physics? You're the one's asking the stupid questions. I have to know at what level to answer you. Did you study physics? Well, if stupid, then answer them, then, if they're that easy. Um, well, I have to answer them at a kid's level, so okay, no. you don't even know. What's the difference between Einstein and Newtonian? You don't either, if you haven't studied physics. Yeah, what's the difference, then? Uh, there is no difference. Oh, there is no difference, so you don't know? Oh, there is no difference. It's the same force. How is it the same? What do you mean, how is it the same? You haven't studied physics, so you don't know. How can because one it's the same force. The other, if it's the same, because Einstein's equations will will go down 
to uh, Newton's equations. You have no idea. Guys, what can we just? About. Yes, I do. You can derive Newton's equations from Einstein's equations. You're a moron. You're a moron, sir. I always sir. understood that right. Einstein you are, you stuff have no was idea. large scale and Newtonian. I do. I've seen it done. I could do it for you, but it would involve it would involve calculus, and I know you haven't studied calculus, so what's there's no the, reason doing it. What's the mechanics of Einsteinian gravity? A uh, bend of space time. And what's the mechanics the of a Newtonian? Uh, mass attracting mass. So how are they the same? They're the same because mass bends space time, idiot. Mass bends space time. Mass bends space time. That's correct. And that's the cause of what? Gravity, for one. Yes, which is what? Gravity. Which is what? Bendy, which is the apparent force you get from bendy space-time. So it's not a force, is it? It is a force, actually. In our three-dimensional world, it's a, observed as a force, mass attracting mass. That's Newton. Yeah, but how is it a force if the mass bending the space-time causes the object to come towards it? Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, so how is that a force? No, it's a force. It's observed as a force. The result is a force. Correct. Very good. You're actually not as stupid as you pretend to be. So I'm asking you, how is it a force? Um, what do you mean, how? Because mass bends space-time? Yeah. Yeah, mass is bending the space. Sure, space-time. Yeah, well, how is that cause and how is that a force? Because we observe it as a force in our three-dimensional world. We don't observe it as a force. We observe relative, yes, we do. We observe relative density. Uh, incorrect. Relative density is bullshit, and you fucking know it. Well, can you manipulate... Relative density. Okay, fine. Can you manipulate space-time? Ah, uh, QE. I didn't know QE was in the room. How do you manipulate space-time? Um, I didn't know QE was in the room. It I didn't shows know a Dumbo was in the room. How do you manipulate this space-time? Uh, you don't have to manipulate space-time, sir. So how do you know it's there? Well, well, you can observe it. Where do you observe it? Um, you know the answer to this question, don't you? No, I don't. Well, how, where do you observe? Well, you should. Bending off space-time. See, you're a moron. No, you're, you're a moron, sir. You're a clown. You're a clown. You're from the you're circus, a fucking clown. obviously. Not a college, not a university. Um, did, what did you study? You still haven't told me what you studied. It's not about me. Uh, is it, was, it is about you, because you don't understand shit. About science. You obviously, you're here, you're here talking about science and physics, and you obviously never studied either of them. Science that you can't explain. Well, I can't explain it to you because you're an idiot. All right. You so, have no background so to, where, start, to start from. Where do you if you're asking it? questions like, what gravity do I believe? What gravity is real? Einstein or Newton? It shows you that you have not studied this issue at all and, have, and cannot be trusted to talk about it. Where do you observe the bending of space-time? All the time. Every time you have, use your ass. But, uh, well, I'm going to observe space time right now. I have a uh, pencil in my hand. I'm going to drop it. Listen. There. That's the bend that I just observed. The bending the space time. So why didn't objects come towards your pencil? Huh? Why didn't an object come towards your pencil? Why, do I, why didn't my pencil fall downward? Why didn't another object come towards your, ob your pencil? Because the, the pencil is very small and very light and doesn't spend space time very much, and the no, Earth it does. Did. The, fl the floor came towards the pencil. That's correct. Yeah, but he's bending the space That's time one way of looking. the pencil, he said. Yeah. Well, the, actually, the, I've been observing the bending of space time with a pencil. No, if the Earth is already bending the space time, how are you controlling the bending of space time? How do I control the bending of space time? Yeah. That's the cause mm -hmm. you're saying of gravity. Of attraction. Because we can observe more mass, more attraction. Not on about the observation. How do you manipulate your variable there? You don't have to manipulate. No, to stop this. I'm not going to talk to you if you're going to QE on me. Because you're a moron. You have no idea. No, how sir. To you are a moron. Science. You have not studied science. You mm -hmm. still haven't told me what you studied. It's not about Let's all me. agree that we're, we're all morons. No. Well, no. Some of us are more moronic you. than others. And someone, well, that person is named Chemo. And you're right there, too, Don Jill. You still haven't. I can't know, although you're a podon, so I think you actually know what's right and just do it for the argument's sake. I think Kimo, on the other hand, is a complete and total idiot. This is an absolute me? Dunning Kruger here from you. You're a pretender clown. Uh, no, sir, you are, you are the king of the Mount Stupid on the Dunning Kruger graph. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about when it comes to science or physics, and yet you're here every day saying, telling everyone how smart you are. While well, you're pretending to know what science is and what gravity is and how to manipulate uh, space Have you time. studied science, sir? 
Have you studied about, science? It's not about me. It is about you. It's, it's totally about, about you. You are the, you are the king you you know of Mount you Stupid. Use. You're king of the hill on Mount Stupid well, on the Dunning Kruger graph. You're an idiot. No, you are, sir. You have you haven't told me what your background in science is. Oh, okay. How can how do you have how do you even it is about you? It's all about you because you're the one here asking stupid questions. Did I actually shut up chemo for? Wow. Put one, put one in the column for the gold petards. Your mother would be ashamed, Paige Shill. Absolutely ashamed. Actually, my mother's quite proud of me, thank you. Oh, for lying about where we live? Uh, no, she knows it too, because guess what? She studied science too. Oh, actually, you're both indoctrinated. Um, no, it's no indoctrination going on. The only indoctrination here is you, because you're fully indoctrinated in your stupid belief that the Earth is flat. When so why don't you, you ask the all the experiment? Evidence. Does she know what an experiment is? Um, she knows them better than you do because all that you knew is what QE tells you. You're a child, Rachel. I'm a child? No, Very sir. Very immature. Um, yeah, says the guy who thinks the Earth is flat. Right, how do you manipulate space-time? You know, more mass, more bendy space-time. Yeah, well, do it then. Let's see. Manipulate it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's Make see you uh, tell me what. It... Make something contract to another object by manipulating space time. Mani okay, you get more mass in the area. Okay. Um, in fact, Blue is doing it right now. For a Blue's doing You're it. Blue's doing it, right Blue's doing it right now. Blue's doing it right now. He's um showing that the uh, the bendy space time exists. Who's doing it? Uh, Blue Marble Science in his uh, Cavendish ex experiment. Yeah, we know the cause of that. If he's doing it in a vacuum. Um, you don't have to do it in a vacuum. That's you're stupid. The you're, not, you're not in the scientific papers that say say it's been done in a vacuum. It's been done in a vacuum. Yeah. Actually, even just, that's just a red herring. But anyway, what he does is he puts a mass there, and it, the mass bends space time. See, here's your. Yeah. How about this? Oh, you don't want to see that because you don't understand any, what. I don't it, see any nonsense papers. I want to see an actual observation. Yeah. And you what don't do you mean? Have that do you? Because you're a plunker. Well, yeah. Um, no, it's called scientific papers before. So unless it exists on YouTube, it doesn't exist, right? That's right. You, you understand that? You un yeah, bullshit. You understand that scientists don't use YouTube? Scientists don't use anything. They don't do anything apart of write down on a piece of paper their dreams. Uh, yeah, that's that's how it works. Yeah, and they're not they're, dreams. They're, they're actually... all on mushrooms writing down all oh, bizarre equations uh -huh. that mean nothing. Yeah, well, just because you don't understand it, your incredulity is not, is not an argument that's false. There's no practical application to it. Um, you, your incredulity is noted. It's nothing to do with my incredulity. Show a practical application from their mathematics. Um, okay. a um, the, the, the GPS system. The rock in the vacuum is done every day. Oh, and every GPS day, every system. other day. Oh, right. fine. Where's the satellite? Um, the, you want, you, satellites? Yeah, yeah, the GPS system was really good. Right, um, how about the communication satellite. system? Show me a satellite. Um, sure. I mean, yeah. Dr. Bob was showing him the other day. Weren't you here when he was here? Showing him for live? You're a first-class buffoon. You have no idea how to present... No, you have no idea what's going on, sir. I, 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 can, I can answer any question you want, and you reject the evidence. You just hand-wave away everything. You're just parroting what you've read in your scripture books. Yeah, I'm parroting stuff. Look who's talking, Mr. QE. Uh, we're looking for science of your claim. It's called, yeah. You and, so what did you... You still haven't told me what you studied about science. When and how much. Emo, did you hear? I'm I'm now working very closely with. Uh, you've inspired me greatly, and now oh, and I'm now, yeah, I'm now working clo very closely with uh, Blue Marble, and we're gonna do some things with the Cavendish here, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna cool. see what we can come up with. Cool. Is that gonna convince you that the gravity exists, or are you gonna just like some come up with some sort uh, of uh, like revolution you, in science? Bozo. Me and Jeremy uh, about are going to do real science. And um, you have a, you wouldn't know real science would bit you in the ass, Kimo. Well, and Jeremy's do, pretty much the same way. We're about to do a Cavendish experiment that's never been seen before. How about that, moron? It's been done before, idiot. Well, show it then. Where is it? 
um, it's in a paper because they did it in the twenties, uh, if I remember correctly. Paper. I read about it in Harry Potter. That's correct. That's well, how it where's works. The, where's the uh, practical demonstration? What do you mean by practical demonstration? They did it. In the, where's the, the paper. observation of mass attracted mass? Um. Um. Um, I don't know. Um, no, no, I have to say um because when you say something you stupid know. like that, you when you say something stupid like idea. that, it just it kind of goes against my goes against. Did he really say something that you know? It's like, did he really say something that stupid? So I'm sorry that I had to think about it for a second because well, when you all, say something that's stupid, it, it just kind of shocks me. So mass attracting mass is observable. You want me to drop my pencil again? Here we go. No, I want you to conduct yep, the here we go. Experiment. Mass attracting mass again. Well, what was the cause of that? Um and. Uh, um, what, what, um, um, what do you um, want? What was the cause of that? No, again, um, um, I'm mass um, attracting um, mass, spend your space time, you, you take your pick. We? Take your pick. Drowning on your own They're vomit. Both, true. Hmm? both are true, chemo. What was the cause again, what's your background in science, sir? Pencil dropping um, cause. Yeah. Uh, gravity. Okay, so manipulate that gravity and bring the pencil back up. I did. Bring um, it back you, up. Yeah, oh, bring it back up? Yeah. Are you an idiot? Uh, are you a moron? Control the force are you an idiot? and bring it back up. <laughs> this is stupid. You are, have to be. So you are the stupidest person on the, in England. Well, there you go. It shows you can't control your independent variable. Uh, it's not an independent variable, sir. It, my independent variable with the medium, the density of the medium. I could bring that pencil back up by changing the medium. Oh, how? Uh -huh. Okay. Bring the pencil back up by changing the medium. How? Yeah. Changing the medium. Pencil oh. comes back up. Magic. Doesn't. No. If I change the medium. Actually. Does it go down in the medium and then back up, or does it only go one direction in the medium? Depends on the medium. Exactly. Thank you. Idiot. Right. So use your force and bring the pencil back up. Um, use um, the medium. Use the same medium. No, this um, is stupid. I'm sorry. Again, when you tell me something stupid, I have to think back for a second. Go. Did you really medium, say something that's stupid? The force that you said yes, it did. It down. The force that took it down there uses. Ah, uh, no, that's not how it works. Up. That's not how it works. How yeah. does it work? Mass attract mass, mass attract repel mass, mass attracts mass. Okay, so use another mass or bring it back up. Mass attracts mass, mass does not repel mass. You cannot have a bigger mass than the Earth in the gravity well of the Earth, you idiot. Anyway, I'm going for a cup of Yeah, of course. We can change our independent variable, have the thing go up, down, hover, no, you can't. stay still in the medium. Uh, no, you can't. You guys, oh, what, yo, you guys can make shit fall. Wow. Sometimes. Yeah, well, you can't. You can't because the medium, it doesn't exist. So tell me, I'm still waiting, Jeremy, on your explanation how relative density changes when you go over the top of the parab parabola in the, the bonnet comet. How does relative density change? Does the volume increase or does the uh, mass? So either the volume's got to increase or the mass has got to decrease in order for relative density to change. How does that work? You guys walk out of your caves. I'm asking a question, Jeremy. Ball. Jeremy, and how does relative density change? Me cave how... man, drop rock. Well, you guys walk out and go, me cave man, earth look flat. And other than that, that's the only, th that's the only proof you have of the flat earth. Oh, look flat. Wait, um... One thing that's weird is, um... You, you know Kim007 or whatever? The fact that he said um, Einstein disproved gravity or whatever. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny, wasn't it? Yeah, but the thing is, like, surely, like, he, if he were to do that, he would have done that in a research paper. So how can we can trust some research papers, but not others? Yeah, we can only yeah. track some research papers. And the other one, everything else has to be on YouTube, apparently. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Notice how he quickly hand waved away my when he asked for a practical demonstration of understanding gravity in that when I started talking about satellites and the GPS system and the communication system and weather satellites, all that. Oh no. Show me one. Yeah. I mean I'm studying physics right now, but like I, I mean, I've, I've been in the server a lot, but um, I like to debate flat earthers, but <clears throat> after a certain point, I just... There's, there's no, there's it's no like banging your head against the wall. It feels good when you stop. Yeah. What part of oh, physics am I to ask? Yeah. A particular yeah. part of physics or just physics in general? Um, well, my course is like mathematical physics. Oh, geez. So it's kind of like, yeah. 
general. But we're learning about relativity now, so I was like interested to hear what Kim was going to say. But yeah. See, Jeremy's not going to like this, but I actually had a professor start off with the equation for molecule one hits molecule two and rebounds. And from this, he proved entropy, proving that the randomness of the universe increases, starting with the equation for molecule hit one hits molecule two and rebounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, um, that's like thermodynamics. Isn't it? You know, at that point, you just go, oh, my God, you know, entropy is not just some concept that somebody thought up it's reality it actually exists it can be proven from first principles yes the gas will actually mm -hmm. fill the volume um no, it's, it's real it's reality bro yeah I'm trying, it, trying to tell yeah, you that except that you're, you, you forget you about that. gravity you forget about gravity though you know uh, and it, I know. It, it, is is there a uh, density gradient i mean there is a density gradient you can't deny the density gradient can you Jeremy? Hello, Jeremy. Is there a density gradient? See, they, they don't want to acknowledge the density gradient because that proves or disproves their whole concept. You're just not worth oh. talking to. You wouldn't even concede that uh, we've done Eratosthenes on a flat surface. You wouldn't concede yesterday that uh, oh, that is a, that okay, listen to me. Listen to me. You, you're just a dis dis no, sir. The problem is you that when you tell me, no, sir. Intellectually Not at all. The problem with yeah. you, is, sir, is that when you you want me to concede that you can do Cavendish on a flat Earth and have it prove the flat Earth, you want you want to have me say that lead is affected by Earth's magnetic field, and it's not. The Earth's mag. You know how much a Tesla is? A Tesla is ten thousand Gauss. The Earth's magnetic field is like 0.3 Gauss, so that's like 10 to the minus 6. So a 15 Tesla magnet barely affected a small piece of lead. You guys are just arrogant. So that's 15 and just times. Intellectually dishonest. And and so that's what. That's so now we're at four and a half, five, four and a half million times stronger than the Earth. The Earth's magnetic field had a small effect on a little piece of lead. And you say that, oh, that means we have to investigate magnetism, moron. The question was, is lead affected by, can lead be affected by a magnetic field? And you showed this by, by showing a 15 Tesla magnet affect a small piece of lead. Proving which is that what you said six, was wrong. And you 4. 5 and 4.5 million times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. And not only that, it was a moving magnet. Even blue, and the Earth's even magnetic blue, field doesn't move that much even over blue knew you four were wrong last night and, and even blue knew you were wrong last night he didn't no know blue blue didn't, didn't know it blue knew i was correct he knew that you were saying what you were saying was true but you when your conclusion from it is false and that's what i'm saying is that you say that a fifth no moving 15 tesla magnet affected a small piece of lead slightly I mean, it's been a while, but like, um, I have, I mean, last time you, I've discussed about, these things, like, you're talking about di diamagnetic materials. And, and, and by the way, Jeremy, does, what does diamagnetism do? Does it attract or repel? Uh, the pulling force that you guys think is there? I don't know. I heard him make a very compelling case yesterday about there is no pulling force. Um, is diamagnetism, does it repel or does it attract? This magnetic force that you say, you know, that a five million times stronger magnet than the Earth, would it repel or would it attract? Well, what's your point? The point is oh, that wow. magnetism repels, it doesn't attract. How come I grew Jeremy fell silent? I just have no opinion on the matter, and I just want to make sure that we rule it out as a uh, as any kind of influence over the Cavendish, that's all. Yeah, it's been ruled out. It has not no effect it on the Cavendish. 
It has been ruled out. Why? Because... If it's been ruled out, why are you guys telling me it's not necessary to even check that it's a variable? How strong is the Earth's magnetic field? You're playing guessing games. No, nope. no, nope. we're not. Your nope. ignorance, we your can error. measure well, the Earth's magnetic field. Downfall. Can measure the Earth's magnetic field at like 0. 0.3 Gauss. Your arrogance is your downfall. 0. 0.3 Gauss. Yeah, where'd you get your information from? I'm from a Christmas cracker. Huh? Uh, you can measure it yourself with the proper equipment. You? What can you? Sure. Oh, sweet. You can measure it yourself, Kimo. Me Do your own research. Do your own research for a change. Oh, yeah. Measure the Earth's magnetic field. We can do everything. What about you? Have you ever tried to do anything for yourself? Uh huh. All the time. Let's have a look at it then. What? You, what what do you want me to do? Show you? Show you a gauge reading 0. 0.3 Gauss? You just say it was faked. Don't give me that shit. No, let's have a look. Let's give a look at something. No, 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 you're not, no, I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time showing you shit that you'll just hand wave away. Let's, Kimo, see we some, need to be... let's see some pictures of the rocket landing backwards, that'd be Go pretty to, cool. I, I, you want to see pictures of the rocket landing backwards? Google it. Kimo, we need SpaceX. to be measuring at various well, you spots. Said you, went, you said you went down there and watched it. Yeah, I didn't take pictures of it, it was too far away. I didn't have the right camera. They had much better pictures taken from other places. Hey, Kimo, did you hear that? I did. The clown. Oh, they want to take pictures of it when there's a, much better have you pictures. Got a red nose on right now. Oh um, no, yeah, I'm sure you do. Got big red shoes it was, on. It was um, too, I'm sure you do though. Got big red it was hair, too big red to, wig. Was it too far to see it? And then you, but you. No, it you wasn't see. too far to see it. I was looking through binoculars. Okay, so what did you see? The okay, the rocket coming back down through the atmosphere backwards, as you said, and landing right on the spot. Can we, can we see something that uh, like a camera lens as good as what you saw? Can sure. you show me a picture, a picture that would show me what you saw through your eyeballs? Sure, hold on a second. I'll find it. Um, it's gonna be really hard to find. I'm sure. Um, hold on a second. Space. Hold on a second. Shush, shush, shush. I'm kind of. I only do one thing for one idiot at one time. Space. Rocket launch. Not from SpaceX. We want, to, we want to see one from someone like you that was there. Well, no, no, this is... I mean, there are lots of people. I mean, why, why give them all the credit? Let's see something from the public. Videos. Okay, I'm, this, this is from somebody, I'm sure. Pavilions. Uh, not, which one do you want to see? Not from the actor agent company who are out to deceive us. Show something from the public. Oh, you want to know uh, you can't find the public, can you? Struggling, hmm? What do you mean, can't find the public? There's lots of publics that are doing it. SpaceX can do it. They're all like you. They saw it through binoculars, but none of them took a picture, right? right. Well, some people have better cameras than I do. Okay. You, uh, you big red shoe. Yes? Can, you uh, show can you show us a picture from somebody that has a better camera than you? Yeah. Google uh, it yourself. It's really going to be tough. No, I mean, we need, I mean, if you believe it, but you couldn't see it because it was too far away, so why do you believe it? Because I saw it. What did you see? You didn't see nothing. The it was camera too... coming back through backwards through the atmosphere, landing in that little pad. It was that really quite impressive that they can do that. See anything. If, you were on, if you were on a lie detector test right now, that shit would be going off like crazy. Uh, incorrect. Totally incorrect, but you're just full of shit. We know that. I think you I might be right you might have brainwashed yourself where you actually thought you saw it and never did. Uh, no, David, I actually saw David, it. David, David, you David why, don't you get your, you why don't you get your ass to Florida and look at it and do it yourself? Why, don't you, why are you telling me that I'm an idiot when, for telling you what I saw? I'm not interested in going and seeing something that I can't see. Oh, I, want to go, I, want to go, I don't want to go down there and prove that I'm, a lo I'm an idiot. I got it. You, you think because somebody put, sprays out some white smoke 14 miles away from me that that proves that a rocket's landed backwards back to Earth? Well, if you can see it coming down through the atmosphere, yes. You're not seeing anything come back. Yes, you either. are. You might see a smoke, uh, like a smoke signal being floated back down on mm. a, a clear uh, parachute. So wait a minute, hold on a second. So wait a minute. So this rocket is not there, and then suddenly it's there. What is they fucking magic it there or what? No, you never saw a rocket. Yes, you do. Where no, is it there? You... Let's have a look. Oh, well, go there yourself, my God! Oh, do we why do I have to show? Why do I have so to Google this for you? Why can't you Google it your fucking on. self? Hold on a second. Are you just? Gonna, are we going to have a conversation? You can just make wild claims and back nothing up. 
It's not wild claims. You're making the one that they're denying reality. You think that all this is fake? Are you an idiot or just an idiot? A gutless coward. Where is your evidence? <laughs> I'm a gutless coward. Gutless I'm down there watching coward. it for yeah. myself. Saw it, and you're saying, oh, I'm a gutless coward. Look at your back, Fuck off, it, Kimo. Fuck off, Kimo. Kimo, look on you. Look on, look, on your, look, on your, look on your head. Just, look on your shoulders. Is there actually a brain attached to that head of yours? I doubt it. Are you wearing your so loser none... hat today? Hmm? So Are none... you wearing... I'm surprised you can put ah, you two words ago about choking on your freaking... Did, did any of your buddies yeah, take pictures? Of me? No evidence, no proof. Look um, who's talking. Who's ad homing who here? Who started with the ad homs? Well, you for did. The proof, evidence of rockets going in wherever you say. Go down it. there yourself. Google it yourself, oh, you yeah. idiot. Yeah. Are you just going to make up wild stories for the rest of the year? Wild stories? You're thinking that everyone down here, there are pictures from all the major news agencies. You think they all faked it? You think everybody faked it? Go, go to. Um, not about what I think, it's about what you can Well, no, you just hand wave away all this proof. I mean, why don't you get your fat ass down to Orlando and watch it yourself, why if you think it's you fake? prove it for yourself? Hmm? You're hand waving away all the evidence saying, oh, it's all fake. You are an idiot, sir. Why would you A complete believe? and why total you, moron. Why you what reason do you have to believe? You, you think they you board. think they CGI'd all this evidence? You think everyone in fact how did they CGI reality when I was down there seeing it in Florida? What did you see exactly? Um the rocket launched and then a few minutes later it comes he, back and lands. It said he it was too far away a minute ago. I mean it's like you got a mental block or something. One I see, what, you have to be away. wait, Dave, you understand that rocket launches are a dangerous. You understand this is it, fucking dangerous? You understand this is dangerous, so you have to keep people away. Well, well, how come none of your buddies down there on the pad? You're a rocket scientist. Why not? I'm not a rocket scientist. I never claimed to be a rocket scientist. Hey, look, Mr. Victory posted it here. Uh, let's you, see it. Well, go ahead. It's in, it's in chat. I was looking uh, for it. I was slow. I was talking to Chemo. Oh, uh, hold on. This actually, they landed two of them. One I saw only landed one. Why don't you just and they fake, the, being they fake the sonic booms, too? Fuck off. You guys are both morons. Why don't you quit the, the, the religious zealotry? And it's, admit, I'm not, you're the one, you're the religious one, sir. Science is not religion. You're an idiot. That your religious, um, nonsense not a religion. Is. Shut the fuck up. Science is the opposite of religion. If, you were, if you'd studied science at all, you would know this. This is further proves that you do not know what the fuck you are talking so about. If it's not a religion, where is the science? And Called proofs and facts, you idiot. Sorry, where? Did you watch the video yet? Did you watch the video yet, Kimo? David? Uh, yeah, okay, let's take a look. There should be no cuts in this whatsoever, alright? Gosh, it's just blue sky for a minute. You think you saw this rocket coming down like that? Yeah. Prove it. What do you think this is fake? Prove it. What do you think? Prove Look, watch, can, watch, prove watch. And can watch it. and shut up. I'm watching it. This is all. Um, okay. That's a civilian, isn't it? These are civilians. These are not. In, this is just posted by Barry Bonzac. I have no idea who this guy is. I don't know what to make. He's uh, he could be part of uh, part of this. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he's part of. I'm sure he's part of the Masons or the Jesuits That's or something, right? You do you it. Why can't you go down and record it? You could tell by the last. Here you go. Watch. Here come. Here they come. See him. Look. See, there they are. There's only. Fucking one this way. So look. There we go. You gotta understand, there's like only one or two videos out of all the millions of people that went to Florida to see this thing. There's only not everybody posts all their lives on YouTube, you idiot. Yeah, this there is you good. go. There's only one that has it where you can. The ones that you could tell that it's a rocket are the fake ones. So that was faked. 
That's it, all that SpaceX. Yeah, that's all that's fake. fake. Yeah, that's not fake, you idiot. Show a real civilian. No. Right like there. You. That was a civilian. No, like yourself, where you say, "Look, here I am, out for the day. Check out, check me out." How about Red's rhetoric? He's got lots of them. Is he fake too? I'm gonna see a rocket yeah, right. today, and then zoom in so we can see it properly. Yeah, we we've already researched all this stuff. This You're is all You haven't yeah. researched shit. This is all you are an idiot. Out, you are a fucking out. idiot. Both of you are both in fucking idiots. Yeah, this is the best. Shut the got fuck CGI, up. That's why. But here, I mean, you have a video now, and now you're gonna hand wave the video. Yeah. Fuck you. I think the morons is calling you back. Look, no, you have one video. I have a it. video. Do you want me to find some others? Why don't you hey, Google it yourself for a change? Okay. You show me, I've Googled, there's like a couple of fake videos and that's it. And then even the people screaming in the background, it's, you can tell it's like a like a laugh track on the back of the I Love Lucy or something. Oh, uh, yeah. incorrect. Kind, kind of laughter, yeah. You are a moron, sir. It's like, hey! Why, why, don't you, why don't you get your ass down to Florida and prove it? You said it you like saw somebody. it, but didn't record it. That's Even correct. It and none of his people down there recorded it. Nobody oh, no. that he knows. Nobody he knows recorded it. Here you go. Here you go. Here's another one. Watch Red Rhetoric. Miss Doctor Snake Oil. Just put it on there. Watch it. Oh, he. Oh, Red Rhetoric did one. Wow. Not Red Rhetoric. Oh, he's he's got, Red Rhetoric. He's got oh, a yeah. better camera. He's got a much better camera oh, than yeah, most people. Red Rhetoric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he, yeah. He's full of tricks. He is Reds. Yeah, bullshit. It's from Lost Landing. If I remember right, there's no cuts in this one. Yeah, well, like I say, Reds is full of the tricks. Have you got anything from a normal person, like yourself? Yeah, like Red? Like well, I showed you one from a normal person, like and you, you said it was too far away. You, now, look at like this. Red's you. got a much better fucking camera, and you won't with, uh, trust him either, right? He's actually got a better camera. Yeah, but I'll trust you. You've been there. Yeah. So why were you? So I've showed you two videos now, both of which show very similar things. No. And the Reds one's actually much better. It does what you want. Shows no. it up close. When you went there, why didn't you record it? Because I have a shitty camera, and it didn't show very well. I, That's not an excuse. Why I don't? Well, at least not. Sorry. I don't have a thousand dollar camera. Can I ask a question? Um, if if you trust paid NASA show and paid NASA show is saying these videos are literally what I saw in real life, then how come you're not believing him? Then either you don't trust him or you do trust him, right? It's one or the other. You can't just be like, well, I trust him if he creates a video for me, but then I'm going to trust him not to like edit the video in any way. But like, on the other hand, like if he says he's seen one of these things, like, well, that's that's untrustworthy because, you know, I don't know, like you get to pick and choose when he's trustworthy and when he's not like. No, because uh, I know where, where we got got these. No red rhetoric. Sure, but if paid is saying that this is literally what he saw. Oh, man. Then, like, rockets saw, can't I'm... land. It's because rockets can't land backwards. Rockets land backwards, you moron. How oh, yeah. does something land? How does something land without wings? Wait, what? Are you serious? Quite easily. Something, something can float back down. There's a difference between floating back down to Earth and thrusting your way back to Earth. No, no, no. No. You just okay. let gravity take its take its toll. And they actually, have to, they actually have to slow down. In order to come back, they have to slow down. You understand no, this? This is Orbital no, Mechanics 101. They have to slow no, down, and then they have to okay. counter the gravity. Okay, so they, they, they go one direction, and then they don't have to flip back over. And actually, they flip they over. They do flip over a couple of times. Okay, so, so how does the wings... It has there the wings. How does it... It actually does have little tiny. It actually does have little tiny wings at the top. They're uh, look like waffle irons. Okay, so how is this little waffle iron wings going to make this thing uh, know which way's up? Um, there are gyroscopes in here the same way. Are you are you really a stupid, David, or are you just pretending to be stupid? So they They're have gy a gyros uh, gyroscope. So it's like that thing that you put in your car where the ball rolls from one side to the other. Um, actually, it's more like the thing you put in airplanes, but okay. 
No, but you, you got to understand something. What does that got to do with anything? We mean what you got to do. Gyroscopes you know, point out. You, you're not going to control. You don't control a rocket, a rocket engine that doesn't have wings. How would you do that? They gimbal. You know what gimbal means? They can point a that little bit. Nothing, that has nothing yes, to do with all that. How would that work? What don't you understand? A gimbal is a spinning. It's just like a gyro. A gimbal. Okay? No. When I say a rocket engine gimbals, I mean it can. It does. It's not locked in one position. It can move slightly. I think with fifteen degrees each way. Well, how, that doesn't make any sense either. Well, why not? Because you cannot. You have to have wings. If you if you go no, up, you do not, and, sir. And you lose your direction. All you can do is fly back into the direction you need to go. Um, no, actually, because they, well, they take off. They actually turn and slow down and fall back to Earth. Then they have to arrest the fall with the rocket. That the, the, does this. The story sounds like it's, it's non feasible, doesn't it? Well, it actually, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool, isn't it? it actually, works. They've done it. It's not real. It's not real, man. It is real. Get your ass to Florida during the next Falcon launch and see it. If you don't fucking five, believe it, you idiot. Five, five minutes ago, you said it was too far away. Where I was seen was pretty far away. You want to be like right up close. You want to be sitting there, and the, I'm telling you that this is fucking dangerous. They keep people away for a reason, you moron. All right, we ought to have some very clear, I mean, super clear vision of this thing landing, right? Can you show me? We do. So there's no... I just showed it to you. Here's another one. Right here, Red's Rhetoric. We don't, care, we don't care about the same three videos that are passed around as being, uh, you know, for every launch. There's been 30 or 40 launches, right, with, with landings? Okay, your point. There's 60,000 videos, but not one of them can see the rocket, but you've got two or three. Yeah. What's your problem? Okay, well, those three are con artists. Uh, no, okay. incorrect, moron. We want to see one from a civilian. Go get your ass down there. I showed you a couple, but do you think, who's Red Rhetoric? Do you think he's a, a paid NASA show or something? Of course he no, is. No, he is not, sir. Neither is the other guy I showed you, but the one guy I showed you. Oh no, that's not cool. You want it, so you want a guy who's a, a civilian and b has expensive camera equipment and c can get up close. Right. Go fuck let's yourself. Let's just let's just see a real video of this thing. I showed you a real video and you and Kimo hand waved it away. Now I'm showing you red threader. Can you hand wave it away? If I show you another video, you'll hand wave it away. Get your ass to Florida. And then until you get your ass to Florida, shut the fuck up about this issue, okay? If the same rocket that took you up, right, is blasting up into the air, how do you make it not blast anymore? You turn understand. And float back to Earth and then re rocket itself back to Earth. It's correct. That's exactly what they do. Basically, it's levitating itself back to Earth. Would that be a. That's correct. Of, Very uh, good. So you actually do right. understand it. Uh, all right, so can you show me a levitating anything, a levitating rocket of any kind? Right here. I just showed you the video. Did you watch right, it again? All right. There ought to, if you've got a big one, it should be very easy to do it with a little one. Can you show me, a, the, like, the test ones that they did in the beginning where they were uh, learning this technology? Where, yeah, uh, there's, man, there's, there's quite a few of them where they actually where they came down fast and ran out of gas, ran out of the rocket, one ran out of hydraulic fluid, and then... Yeah, there's plenty of the failures. No, there's no failures. There's, yes, there's there are. One, there's one where they put it on a string to do. No, actually, there's several. There's several failures. They, if you watch, so where they, where they crash and dash. It actually took them a while before they perfected it, just like uh, everything else. Going, think about this. You're going seventeen thousand. Your miles incredulity back. is noted, David. Your incredulity is noted. That is not an argument against the fact they're actually fucking doing it. You're going to, going your incredulity is noted, Dave. You, you have an argument from incredulity. That's the only thing here is I don't believe it can be done. Therefore, it cannot be done. Even, you're not even going straight up. You're going at an arc. So this thing's got to turn around. That's correct. Very then good. Get, then get vertical, then land. That's correct. Very good. After it's been in an arc going 17,000 miles. Actually, it doesn't, go, it doesn't go 17,000 miles per hour. It goes some good fraction of that, but not 17, but okay. All right. Well, whatever, 10,000, 8,000, 7,000. Yeah, your incredulity is noted, David. 
All you have for right now is a big fucking argument from incredulity. So, I'll be back. Have, anyway, yeah, so you see I have any videos of... Um, I gotta be back. I gotta go do stuff. I gotta get you guys. You guys are just um, way too stupid for me right now. Yeah, I don't think so much stupid. Look who's talking, Mr. Circus. Bozo himself. Get, both of you need to get your ass to Florida and watch it for yourself. No, then no, you I'm can not, believe. I'm not, uh, I'm not bothered about it, whether it works or not. Of course not. Well, why you? If you're saying why not? If you're not bothered about whether it works or not, why are you shilling for David? I'm not. Whatever it's worth. I'm more interested in how they work in. Yeah, common sense will tell you that that thing can't land itself. It has no wings, and it doesn't float. I mean, we don't really use common sense in science. That's not really like that. Yeah, we figured that out. That's the pro that's the problem you guys are having. Yeah, I mean, but like if you want to prove something, you don't just like write common sense and then underline it and be like job done. Like the uh, fuck. If you want to know if you want to know if something's actually going to work, you write down common sense and figure out how how it would actually work. Well, no, you know? a lot a lot of physics is unintuitive, so, you know. Arian. How would you how Yeah. How long have you been in the server? Oh, wow. Have we spoke before? Uh, maybe in the past. I'm not, like, I don't speak a lot on the server. But, yeah. So how long uh, have you been a flat earther? <laughs> <laughs> not long. Never. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no. Not yet. I can't really be a flat earther. I'm a physicist, so I can't really do that. You're a physicist? <laughs> well... I'm a student, so oh. I guess it technically, yeah. So what? What do you do? Um, like science. I study. Yeah, I study like mathematical physics. Mathematical. Ah, so not real world. Um, it depends on what you mean by real. Like, I mean, am I doing the physics that you? you know, make a car with? Maybe not. It's probably yeah, the engineer. Is anything to do with uh, a centric model or space? Universe? Um, we don't really learn much about that. <laughs> like, there's not, there's not like a really a big concern. It's just like you learn about it. It's like, okay, cool. And then you move on. Like, you move on to more interesting stuff. Do you know as a physicist student, like, if, if you came out as a flat earther, they would ruin your career, wouldn't they? Um, would... It's almost impossible to do that because... Um, yeah, if No, no, if you were a flat earther, you wouldn't be able to, like, solve anything. Like, no, the, that's not... Like, that, that, well, that, that's not true. That makes no sense. See, that's like common sense. Well, okay. If you're a flat earther, you can't figure anything out. The flat earth has figured out all your fucking lies, so how can we not figure it out? I get it. No, no, no. So what I mean is, um, so if you're a flat earther and you were given, like, I don't know, Newton's, like, equation for gravity, like, what the fuck are you going to do with that? Like, yeah, but why do you... I mean, need unless... It? Who, what do you need what it do you for? Mean? What do you need it for? Like, if if there's, like, a problem that you need to solve, like, okay, if you put, like, this planet at this, like, mass at this distance, what's the force between these two? Like, what does a flat earther just be like, oh, I'm not using this equation? Like, okay, well, then you're just not going to really, you're not really going to succeed, are you? <laughs> you can reject the system, but that's, like, kind of... No, we uh, just know that that would, be a, that would be called a hypothetical equation. Um, well, as a child, I don't think you can really like disprove years and years of physics by just saying, "Well, that's hypothetical." It's like, well, I mean, you just sure. what? What do you mean that that that, that you? What, it is hypothetical. You have no nothing to back it up. It's just what somebody told you that told them that told them before that. That's all. We're gonna help. I mean, that's man. that's that's literally everything in the history of humanity. It, every, everything is true. literally no. Everything not, is passed down. Well, let, 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 let's help you not waste writing. your life in um, physics. It has no application at all. Um, well, I beg to... Go on, show like me the application. 
Um, anything. Like you can go into nuclear physics, you can go into renewable energy, you can go into, well, depending if, if you don't want to go into physics, you can go into finance, you can go into um, engineering, you can go into medical physics. There's so many different fields that you can like, you know, join. But, you know. I just yeah, mean in I mean, terms like, of like the globe and I mean no one really de- like no one really debates that stuff like us that's, that's kind of like saying like oh like what do you want to be in the future oh I want to be a nuclear engineer and it's like oh you don't want to do any work about like Newton's first law it's like okay why the fuck would I do that like it's such a waste of time there's no jobs about that like what the hell Alright, yeah. how do you know you were on a globe then? Um, there's the, uh, I mean, like, in school, we learned there was, like, some fucking um, scientist, not scientist, like, in the old days where people would just be philosophers, scientists, and, like, everything. Um, there was, like, one dude, I don't know what his name is, he did that, like, experiment with the sticks, and he was like, okay, it's a globe. Yeah, that dude, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, and what? And so, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah. So, how big, um, is the, how big is the radius? Um, I don't know, I just have to Google it. <laughs> I fucking, I keep that shit in my head. Oh, so it's you're, like, you're a real newbie. Um, no, not well, everybody not, in the world, Kimo, cares what the radius of the Earth is. You know, it's not something that yeah. most people have in the back of their head. You know, oh, just because you do, because you specialize in this one little part of physics, you think that you know everything. So, would you agree, like during your schooling, as you being gone this long in school, that basically they drill it into you as a young child when they put that sphere in the room when you're in kindergarten, and then from that point forward, you pretty much just live with it because it's bombarded onto your memory in television commercials and TV shows and all these different things. So you really, even as a physicist, you don't really uh, contemplate the, the, the shape of the earth because it, you, you, it's already been taught to you that that is the reality of the situation. Well, you I mean, with that I, I'm, I'm here. So technically I'm, I'm probably more open to these things than every other person, but, I would say that everyone around me, yeah, no one cares because it's not like a debated thing. It would be something like, like um, it would be like literally like you, you get taught when you're in school, right? Oh, Hitler was like the, the cause of fucking World War Two, and he was bad and he did all these things. It's like, well, yeah, when you're older, no one's going to question it, right? Outside of some groups of people who are very weird and they like to question like everything, right? Like, and you can do that. That's fine. You shouldn't expect everybody to start questioning everything. Like, like, I mean, you, you can you can do the um, who's that philosopher who questioned everything? Um, the dude who was like, I think that not not that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think therefore I am. Um, he, yeah, he re yeah he reevaluated all his beliefs from like base principles, and then he built it all back up by being very rigorous and very skeptical about every belief he held. But that's a bit of a, it's a bit of a niche thing. Like it's not, it's a so, lot of effort. Let me understand how you, is the globe fact? Absolutely. Know it. Verify. Um, probably, yeah. Probably. probably. Yeah. I mean, I can't say anything with 100% certainty, right? It I don't know if I'm a brain in of that, but you know. Might not but, be. Yeah, I mean, like, we could all just be brains and vats, but, like, I'm never going to know that, right? How can we um, know things? But, um, well, we have to assume certain things are true, right? Why? Like, that our senses are real. Why well, assume? Well, because there's no other way of knowing, right? You can't prove that your senses are real. Like, can you do that? If right. you can. For me, I can. My senses. Wait, well, that's an assumption, though, right? Well, what sense are you talking about? Like, your sight, your hearing, your smell, your taste, your touch, 
all of those things like they could just be fooling you you could be a brain in a map where'd you true. get that idea from um from basic philosophy like like somebody, it's generally like somebody had an idea that we could not be real and you idea well no you can't you can't disprove this well i i would i would ask you okay well can you prove to me that you can trust your senses and then you can do that if you want you can try to yeah sure so can you give me an adequate proof of why you can trust your senses that isn't circular by the way i said i can prove it to myself sure sure if well, that's circular you, if i hit you in the head with a hammer you don't think i'm sorry you might call i couldn't tell what you said i said if i hit you in the head with a hammer you don't think you would know you have senses um sure i but that would be an assumption right no that wouldn't be no, an assumption head, you know what if he hit you in the foot if I, would you know you were hit in right, the foot, the foot. or would you just <laughs> yeah yeah no no so 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 what it that, is you know what you, no, no, no. do do you do you believe in communist brainwashing where where a, a group of people would want like-minded people to uh have all the same ideas so everybody would uh you know, basically march down the same road together okay i don't know what the fuck that has to do with anything but um okay so well, I'll, I'll give you i'll, I'll give you an analogy right let me just let me I just ask you one more thing. When you, when, you went first grade, when, when you went when you went to kindergarten and they showed you that ball that you lived on, you you can't tell me that you don't remember going. Wow, that how the heck do people stand upside down? You don't remember that? Well, yeah, no, I asked that question when I was in school, and they were yeah, just like, and, so, there's, there's and, a... and just and basically yeah. they basically just convinced you that just said don't worry about it it's real and you just went on about your life believing it from that point forward didn't you well no they said it's like it's a pole from the center of the earth so from wherever yeah. you are on the earth it feels like you're being pulled to the towards the center and so if you're on the quote unquote bottom of the earth you're basically being pulled up to the top so you will be still exactly. stationary exactly so they explained it away and you believed it what I mean, giving a reason for something being true is not the same as explaining something away. No, well, that's explaining right. it away. You and me both know that if I handed you a thousand plumb bobs and told you to walk for twelve thousand miles and hang one out every whatever number of miles, so they're all out evenly, that every one of those plumb bobs would hang vertical on itself. You you could never make you. There is no measure of deviation anywhere you go. Wait, wouldn't that literally just prove what I just said? If it's hanging I, vertical. It doesn't work on a ball. That's the whole point, that these yeah. things do not work on a ball. Wait, why not? What do you mean, why not? Because there's curvature of the Earth. The Earth is curving away from you in every direction. Okay, so how does a plumb bob work? Can you explain that to me? A plumb bob just hangs vertically on itself. Okay, so how did that how did that disagree with what I said? If it's being attracted by the center of the earth it's at any point being, on the it's earth. Not being, it's not being attracted to the center of the earth. It's just showing you where true vertical is at your location. It doesn't point to the center of anything. It point it's a vertical measurement. It's not what, a, what, a what center make, of the earth. What makes you think it's pointing uh, to the center of something? Yeah. No, I just, I just said that, like, when we were in school, that was the explanation they gave us, and that's not like an unintuitive explanation, Maybe and it doesn't go against his plumb bob thing. They explained it away. They said you live on a ball. Yeah, but you you saying explained it away is literally the definition of an explanation. So, like, well, no, if, if you give me an explanation for something, and I just say, well, you just explain that away. It's like, well, okay, but. Kind of, yeah, but not really. It's like, like, it's, it's like a guy in the a, a guy catches his wife in bed with the plumber, and the, and the sheets are over it. And she said, "No, she, he he was just came over to visit." Um, sure, but I think these two things are slightly different, in the sense no, that knowing the you, understanding the earth. So look, hold on. Okay, okay. So look, what I'm ahead. saying is 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 you have. Um, 
a position like so you believe one side for various reasons so but i'm True. asking you what are those reasons you're saying they've done stuff so we're asking what are those things that they've done that you believe yeah. that we're on the ball what did you what, what mean, can you verify that they've so you said the sticks um, yeah that's that thing um yeah i mean like i mean you could probably google the rest of the stuff i don't know like i guess yeah, but this is the point. I'm asking what makes you believe that over the other if you haven't tested it? What's the other? They're on a flat plane. Okay, why would I believe that? That's what I'm asking. What have the globes done? To... So it's just because you were told as a young kid over and over again and you grew up and that's... Is that the reason why you believe? You, you would believe that because everywhere you go, the Earth is flat. That's why you would believe that. You say you don't believe um, in the flat Earth because no. what? What's the reason? Well, because no, no. So I, I don't have to. So you're asking me to like, um, I guess in a sense, prove a negative. I, there's no reason for me to. You do realize it, there is no right. there is no measurement of the curvature of the Earth. You do realize that though, right? So that, don't lie, David. Don't lie, David. That there has never been measurement of the curvature of the Earth. You do realize that. Don't lie, David. I mean, is that not what Aristophanes did or whatever his name is? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So these people have done stuff on your side. I'm saying, do you just believe You think? What? Well, yeah, you assume certain things are true. You trust certain people because that's what we do in this world, right? Yeah, but I'm saying, what, I why, my... why is that more believable than flat Earth, just based on trust? Um, well, yeah, we, we, okay, so when you get in your, I don't know if you drive, when you get in your car and you turn the engine over, right, you trust the engineers that have built your car for your car to not fucking explode, right? You're putting your trust in them, right? That's what you're doing. You don't know everything about the ins and outs of a combustion engine and how a car works, right? Yeah. And yet you put trust in those people, right? Why do you do that? Don't change the subject. We're talking about the no, shape no. of the earth. Don't be talking no, about making no, hold on, David. No, no, hold on, hold on. No, 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 this so, is about trust yeah, in science. Yeah, okay, yes. okay. I'm not arguing that. So you're right. When the mechanic fixes the car, you trust them. When the science teachers you tell you something, you trust them, yeah? Yeah. The doctors do something, you trust them. You know, so yeah, on exactly. and so on. Okay, so let's say you take your car to the mechanic and the wheel falls off. Do you go back to that mechanic? Um, um, depends. On what? Um, did it fall off because of something that they did? Yeah. They forgot to. Okay. Put, they forgot to put a bolt on. Yeah, sure. Then you don't go to that mechanic. So now you have a reason, yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. So if we're told then by what you just said, the same way to trust, trust that uh, we were told the radius is thirty nine fifty nine. So we can calculate um, how far the physical geometric horizon should be. So uh, when we go out and test that to find out where it is, it turns out it's not there. Now, did you check your car or did you just drive out and hope for the best? What do you mean? So you've been told about the globe. Have you tested it? Well, no, because why would I test it? Because What's information has come forward to you that We've been told it's thirty nine fifty nine, and there's doubt in that. Yeah, but who's people. doubting? Hmm? Who, who's doubting? Millions of people. Who are these millions of people? All Why have I never heard of them? Why have I never heard of them? Why has no one ever heard of them? Until now. No, no one's still heard of them. You have I mean, heard it, of them. So, no, it's so why I actually went to seek out these beliefs okay Sorry? um i actually like seeked these beliefs so like i'm a bit of an edge case um so he, he, here's like a comparable situation right now when you go to the doctor right let's say that the doctor 
miss like i don't know um messes up with your like um assessment and then you know like you know you're like okay well i don't know if i i trust this doctor in particular and then you go to another doctor right right what what are these doctors working off right they're working off the principles of medicine right okay now like i have no reason to question like medical science right like i'm not going to go out and be like okay well actually let me read all these studies and see if like what they're saying is true right yeah um now i do do that but Mm -hmm. that's besides the point a lot of people don't um now if a lot of people came out and they started saying stuff that was against a lot of like the consensus of like studies right Mm -hmm. um i would be like okay sure you can say that but like until you provide you your eBay? own sort of like sorry what you use ebay you ever used it um i normally use amazon amazon like yeah eBay. so they have reviews yeah. um yeah sure sure yeah. how if it's good or bad yeah so do you listen to those reviews um actually yeah yeah if the more if some saying it's bad what do you think you think mm, you want more good than bad right Probably, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of people. I'm probably if you haven't heard already, there are a lot of people who are reviewing Earth. That is a globe. A lot of bad reviews. Turns out the radius is not actually there. Turns out no one actually measured the Earth. Turns out that you or I or anyone here cannot find anyone who has measured the. Earth. You know that? Have you read those reviews? I mean, isn't that isn't that like the experiment that er, the dude did? Eratosthenes, like, yeah. The, yeah, the, the stick dude. Yeah. Have you not heard of? Have you not it, read his that... reviews? You not seen his Facebook? Terrible reviews. When did he do it? Prove it. How did he do it? How did he get the person to go from, was it Cyrene to Alexandria or something like this? How did they know when to get the shadows together? The reviews are terrible. Probably didn't know about this, right? Um, what I've heard that... Um, where are the raving, where are the raving reviews? Sorry, what? Where are the raving reviews on Eratosthenes? Who's, where do we see people do I mean, we've also... We've okay. also got Eratosthenes to work on a, a, a flat level surface, so I mean, you're you're kind of screwed on that one. Yeah. So the point is, what I'm saying is, is you were comparing to the mechanic and stuff. Good analogy. Yeah. But obviously, if the mechanics are, are not um, fixing the car how you'd like it, then obviously you're not going to go there again. So you we've got you i can say you're the mechanic you're telling me the earth is a globe i go and check it out i find out well hold on what you're saying about the radius is wrong i'm going to give you a bad review unless obviously you say well actually i'll go and correct that review i'm going to actually go out there and show that i can do that post it show you what i did show you the curvature and move forward get my point you like that Um... You know, sure. you're from those assholes who give bad review. If, 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 hold on if a second, Chaiki. Hold on a second, Chaiki. Hey. Chaiki, hold on. Hold no. on. Won't take much longer. No. Hold on, Chaiki, please. Hold on. Hold on, please. So, Aaron, do you yeah. understand my point? No, you can let me Chaiki. finish my no, I get, Chaiki, I get you your let, let point. That you're from those assholes who give bad review no matter what. All right. Just wait. Let him give us. No, point. no, wait. I'm, I'm done. That's it. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, Aaron. Um, I mean, if you're um, so here's the thing, right? If you're correct in the the fact that you're saying that there were bad reviews or whatnot, um, what would be the sort of so first of all, you would have to see if these reviews are actually legitimate, right? Because realistically, just just because you give a review, that doesn't mean your review is like accurate or whatever, right? Uh, absolutely. Um, you want and to so you, you would. My Wait. bad. Yeah, 
no worries. Uh, like, just because you're giving a review, that doesn't mean like it's necessarily a, like an accurate review. Um, secondly, if you do give a review and the overwhelming amount of reviews, or I guess evidence, points to the contrary, um, then, I mean, it, it would have to, you, you could, I guess, put it up to the uh, test of science and see if like anyone could debunk it. And then if no one can, then I guess, you know, your your sort of theory of, I guess, debunking the radius or curvature of the Earth is um, is adopted, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, although considering I learned about this sort of stuff, I mean, I guess, like less than 10 years ago, right? Do you, do you believe Maybe. in a chain of command of science? Where there's the chain of command, like there's a, the, there's the head honcho, scientism leader, and then you have like the followers that go down in rank, like your globe tard uh, executive one, two, and three, and you know what I'm getting at. Um, like, is there like a a hierarchy in science? Well, hold on a second. Yeah, mean... Before we go with that, David. Yeah, so uh... look, Arian, hold on, there, because look, we're almost there, David. Almost there. He's, he's understanding now, uh, you know, and he's not 100% sure. So, so now we know the reviews. What are you going to do to improve those reviews? How can you uh, make sure we get five stars? Um, well, I mean, we're kind of assuming that the reviews are accurate, right? Um, given that they're accurate, assuming that they're accurate, you would have to change the product or I guess the experiment or try and like refine it, see if you can get it to be more accurate. I mean, considering it was Aristotle's like, I don't know when the fuck he did this, but terrible reviews. This probably... is the point. No one knows he... when he's done it. You should see them. Awful. Who is this man? When did he do it? How long did he take him to do it? Who's the guy he did it with? Where you know, so many questions. Terrible reviews. Well, so, not only that, I mean, email... What, what if they're hold on? What if what if their experiment also did something else that that proved the flat Earth? Like they, they we, we can do it on a flat Earth now. So I mean, why are they? This isn't even proof of anything. How does that work? On just, a flat it's just Earth? an assumption on how the sky works, and then how does it work uh, on a flat they go Earth? From there. You said well, you, you could, assume how the so... sky works. No, no, I, I'm a, I'm asking you. So you said you could do that on a flat Earth. I was wondering. How that would work? We put a lens in between us and the sun, and uh, that's not what happened with Eratosthenes, though. With Eratosthenes, yes, an Eratosthenes thing, we can do that on a small flat surface. Put a uh, put a lens. In Are you saying the Earth the, is a small flat source. surface? Show us, Jeremy. I want to see it on a small surface. Jeremy, I want to see it on a small surface. I don't want to distract you. With the lens. Oh, you, we know, already did. Please, please continue. Oh, Suddenly you don't want to. We can, we can do it on a flat, flat surface. He can but totally ahead, do it, but he just do doesn't want then. to. Tell us. He can totally do it, he just doesn't want to. Right, Jeremy? No, we haven't. It's, it's been done. Citation. We're talking it. With the well, small video, sun and, and, and the magnifying the glass. Give me a break. We have videos of it. Hey, Jeremy, we've, got a, physicist, we've got a physicist in here that's talking to Kimo. Let him speak to him. Yeah, go ahead. My bad. Sorry to interrupt. No, no. I mean, again, we, we can have the mic on. was a little bit buggy. Buggy. If you... Okay. So, Arian. How are we going to, um, like I say, get those five stars right now? Eratosthenes is sitting there on one star. And um, well, need to improve- did you notice, though, that he basically said that uh, that basically everybody just assumes it? Did you notice that in that conversation where you're basically just taught it? So why question it? Did you notice uh, that? Yeah, well, no, I, did. I, I didn't actually but, say that. I, I said well, that, no, like, no, like, all your yeah. friends. Like, all the people in your classes that don't know about flat earthers, right? If you look at them and you look and you talk to a flat earther, then you go to your class and you sit down and you look at all those people in there and they don't know anything about the earth being flat, right? They just, every one of them in that room, just assume they live on a ball because that's what they're being taught of how the mechanics of the world is. 
Would you agree with that statement? Um, yeah, not many people question that because there's no real like past to get the ba like past the basics. Like well, when, when you you're know that you know that Flat Earth was censored off the internet because of its controversial uh, uh, ability to bring people that believe they live on a ball to understand they live on a flat earth and they I mean, had to not they had to the governments didn't like that process happening i'm not sure off the internet that. i can go i can literally go on youtube right well, we now all of those rhetoric videos in, and, and, and find and soundly we could go find all all no, the and i can find flat play. earther videos what are you talking about Okay, so whether we got there, yeah, you have to go dig down about 80,000 pages till you get to one. We know. Uh, we don't want to hear. Be, about okay, being people. being hard to find or being like not the first thing that pops up when you search for flat earth doesn't mean you're censored off the internet. No, all, uh, man, everybody knows that YouTube has changed over the last two years. Everybody knows it. They see it in their feed. Uh, we yeah, YouTube's got it. problems, but. YouTube what do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? What do you think they should do? They shouldn't do anything. If as long as what they need to do is just make it a paid service, and then, then they they take all the liability away from them, and Americans could talk for free because they pay for it, just like they pay for their damn telephone at their house. Do you know that the police don't pay for they, YouTube? You, you've got a private line in the United States of America, a telephone line, a landline. The government cannot listen to your phone calls. You understand that? <laughs> <laughs> without a warrant without a warrant you do okay okay without a warrant but they still can right yeah that, that's the same thing if if i pay for youtube five bucks a month and uh, you they, don't they, pay they, a dime for no, youtube if, if, okay if, okay if you pay money but that's not why they can't listen to you if you pay money to subscribe no. to youtube and then you put out a youtube video onto the internet that anybody can watch literally anyone can watch it including the government no, that's exactly right. But the thing is, is they're censoring your speech. And if you had your right of free speech, YouTube has been told to censor Flat Earth, Sandy Hook, and 9-11 videos, right? Even, e oh, even if, okay, even if you paid money for it, they right, could, you'd still be subject to the terms of service. And if you violated those terms of service, no, no, your content no, could still be removed. No, because then at that point, my free speech it becomes, uh, becomes. No, it's a free speech has to. No, David, David, David. Because, Your free you speech know, has to do with the government. The government just, shall make no establishment with regards to religion or the freedom of expression. Exactly. Has nothing so to do. Has nothing to for, do with a private it, corporation. Oh, it's a private line. Once I have a private, if I have a line that I'm speaking on, right, my free speech, and I have a private no, line. No, no, you're, you're, you're there. That's not how it works, you, Dave. If I Sorry, pay but, for, sir, if I, okay, this is fine. Right, it's like if I, pay, that's not how it works, Dave. Uh, let, me, let me give you an example. If I had an internet website, I, I don't care what me. example you give me. I work in IT. No, I know I'm that's not how it works. Get, I have a degree in computer I'm, information I'm systems. But I don't even I need to that to Daddy. tell you that's I not buy, how it works. I go to GoDaddy. I buy a website. I build a, I build a, a talk platform. I go on there every single day, 24 hours a day. I can say anything I want, right? No, you can't. GoDaddy literally banned and got rid of uh, uh, Stormfront. They said they're no longer going to host Stormfront because they didn't like their information. They didn't like the stuff they were doing. And literally, it's something Spotify. GoDaddy can choose to do. And, and and Americans host their own websites. Sure, you if you wanna if you wanna have your own okay. domain name server, your own DNS server. Yeah, exactly. uh, if you wanna have okay. your own, uh, 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 if you wanna host your own data, sure. But you're still subject yeah, okay. to the laws. Okay, then I'm subject to uh, the free speech laws, right? Which just say uh, uh, mm. no shouting fire in a, in a theater, right? And not. Uh, um, racism, uh, racism, racism is not even illegal to talk about in the United States. You're right. You're right. Yes. Yeah. So you could do that. Yes. But good luck finding okay. a DNS server that'll host that'll that'll let you point there. Uh, like if you want to just like have a page that says nothing but the N word over and over and over again. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm Google might not host that DNS server. I mean, do, okay. do, Google might not want to point their uh, uh, point people to that. You could. This Jesus Christ, point. Dave, Americans, Dave, Dave, Dave. Okay, Americans have the right to free speech and can pay for it and have it done for them. Right now, every American in the world can start up their own 
free speech channel, now couldn't they? Correct? Um, I think the conversation got a bit derailed, but sure. No, is the derail do Americans have free speech? Can I have a server that gives me the ability to, to speak with free speech? Yes or no? I have no idea, but um, considering your the thing you said before about like flat earth being censored or something, I don't think it's censored. It's probably not prioritized by YouTube um, in terms of content, um, and I can see why. I mean, it's effectively a conspiracy theory. Millions um, upon millions of uh, flat earth videos have been deleted off the internet. Billions of videos have been deleted just this year off of off of uh, YouTube. Billions, not just a few, billions of them. Okay, they're messing with where well, they're messing with history, and that ain't cool. I mean, sure, but have you seen question. the reason? Have you seen the reason why they were uh, deleted those channels? Did you see the the letter from YouTube that explained why they were were deleted? They have they have no right to do that. Uh, don't tell me they have no right. They can do whatever they want. They don't That's ask fine. you. You sign their their agreement. You sign their agreement. I agree You're with you. by it, and they, they, and they I can guarantee you that it tells you that at any moment they can they can uh, shut your channel if you violate the terms of use. It's time to come out with a, a total free speech platform. I Go ahead. You. Nobody stops you, David. Well, Wait, they, they they actually exist, but nobody uses them because they're so fucking like. It's just really um, ad unfriendly. Like you've got like some weird like parlor yeah. and like Gavin. YouTube, built, YouTube built up all their people, all the stuff. They built up all their popularity. They built it all on free speech, and then they squashed it when they got all the money. Wait, no, they never did. They always had ad YouTube, like. Do, YouTube don't you remember? YouTube was always cool about everything until flat no, earth. No, they won. The no, they won. When they had the ad out there. Okay, give me yeah. a second. When they had the ad apocalypse, which was when like all the fucking content creators saw their sort of like content being like heavily demonetized and stuff like that because of like non ad friendly content, right? It had nothing to do with anything remotely to do with fucking flat earth like that was like the last of their concerns right it was mostly a lot of content that was not really ad friendly maybe it was sexual content maybe it was a bit like um edgy sort of like political content and so they had to do a rehaul of the system and they had to change their terms of use right and nowadays you're probably going to have deprioritized um videos if you talk about conspiracy theories if you talk about flat earth if you talk about anti-vax stuff if you talk